Gerald Ratner was the CEO of his family's jewelry business, Ratner Group. The company was struggling up on his arrival when he inherited it from his father in 1984. He transformed the company into a phase of prosperity and rapid expansion through his rebranding and cost cutting. The company was a low price competitor, owned more than a thousand stores throughout Europe and the United States, 50% of the UK market. The road to ruin began in April 1991. Ratner was invited to speak at the Institutes of Directors meeting. It was a prestigious event attended by thousands of the UK's most influential investors and covered by media and journalists. He made a joke about one of his company products in his speech. People say, how can you sell this for such a low price? I say, because it is total crap. Then he also said, we sold a pair of earrings for under a pound, which is cheaper than a shrimp sandwich from Marks and Spencer, but probably would not last as long. People say to me, how can you sell this for such a low price? I say because it's total crap. <laughs> um, uh, it's no point beating around the bush. Anyway. Uh, our Ratner's shops will never win any awards for design. They're not in the best possible taste, I admit that. In fact, some people say they can't even see the jewellery for all the banners and posters smothering the shop windows. So it's interesting that these shops, that everyone has a good laugh about, take more money per square foot than any other retailer in Europe. We even sell a pair of earrings for under a pound, gold earrings as well. And some people say, well, that's cheaper than a prawn sandwich from Marks and Spencers. But I have to say, the sandwich will probably last longer than the earrings, but anyway. <laughs> uh, the newspaper and TV outlets to Kratner's words literally which degraded his company brand. After the speech, the value of the Ratner Group plummeted by around 500 million pound, which nearly resulted in the firm's collapse. Ratner has said in his defense that his remarks were not meant to be taken seriously, but the jokes backfired and destroyed the company. Today, Ratner's speech is still famous in the corporate world as an example of the value of branding and image over quality.